Hey everybody, Bat Merc here. Today I'm going to be reviewing John Carpenter's Escape from New York. Uh, there's going to be some spoilers in case you didn't know. This is a book or a, a movie that came out ooh, back in the 1970s. It's a, it's a, I think it's set. The storyline though is set in 1981. It's supposed to be in a post-apocalyptic future, and so <laughs> that's basically the, you know how 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 old it is. This right here is the DVD special edition. I bought this ooh, maybe 10 years ago, so I just brought it out of the vault. Um, yeah, I believe John Carpenter wrote it, Deborah Hill, and Kurt Russell produced it. Um, it's one of the most, like, original stories I've, I've ever seen. Um, it's an awesome, awesome character. He's got, like, this eye patch, and it's about this guy named uh, Snake Plissken. He's, like, this, you know, America's Most Wanted. And basically, in the story, um, they've really, like, got really hardcore on crime. And anyone that, like, says, like, profanity or anything like that, they get shipped to New York. And New York has become a, a major prison. There was, like, an earthquake and flooded New York, flooded the the eastern uh, seaboard and New York just became an island and so they they uh, put like fences up all over it and turned it into a uh, turned it into a prison so what happens is the uh, the the president of the United States of America he um somehow gets kidnapped and uh they they capture this uh, America's most wanted um ex special forces character Snake Plissken to go and rescue him and when they do it they give him a um they basically give him a little bit of a <laughs> little virus, you know, and he has to save the president within, I believe, 24 hours before the virus kills him. So, um, but yeah, this right here is a, um, this is a, uh, special edition that I got right here back in the day. And, um, it's got all kinds of stuff, you know, like I, I, I it has a commentaries with, with Carpenter and, um, Kurt Russell. I'm sure they have all this like condensed into a Blu-ray now, but back in the day, the, um, they used to have like a lot of stuff like on the Blu-rays, and they were, it just seems like, or yeah, the the DVD seems like the DVDs were like a lot more fun. Um, seems like they were bigger than the Blu-rays. Like the packages were just a lot more elaborate. Um, yeah, and then it actually came with this comic book right here. And at the time, uh, this was published through uh, Hurricane, and it was a, I think a small one of the one of the one of the um, small publishers from Image. It's a cool little short story in here. It's got some cool art, you know. It's got Snake Plissken. He's perfect for comic books. Um, but yeah, I um, forgot who put it out. I think it was uh, Dark Horse did uh, Big Trouble in Little China, and they also did um, recently, like in the past five years, they did uh, they did Escape from New York. And I was reading all those books, man. Anything with Snake Plissken, I'll read it. Pretty much Snake Plissken or, or um, Jack Burton for Big Trouble in Little China. But I do like Snake more. He's he's more of a badass. But um, yeah, and then. This right here was going to be the alleged Snake Plissken game, Snake's, Snake Plissken's Escape. This right here would be a perfect title for a, for another uh, for another um, the, the, a trilogy and or a third Snake Plissken movie. You know, just call it Escape or Snake Plissken's Escape. And I think it was going to be on like Sega Dreamcast or something like that. Or yeah, I think it was going to be on Dreamcast, but it never came out. And I waited and I waited for this fucking game, but it never came out. But I still got this stuff. And uh, yeah, every now and then, you know, I'll, I'll pull this uh, special edition out and I'll watch it. But um. Yeah, back to the movie. Um, basically, it starts out with um, you know Snake Snake Plissken. He um, <clears throat> or the the um, the president. He he basically gets um, he basically gets a uh, you know um, uh, kidnapped, and um, he uh, they, the the government has to like I said before get um, Snake Plissken to go in and and rescue him and. Uh, it's um it's a pretty crazy ordeal and there's all these different like gangs inside of the uh inside of the um the prison man and uh there's this like guy called the duke and he's played by isaac hayes and um he um i don't know man he he just runs that 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 city with like a strong hand you know and um kurt russell's trying to trying to get around and get in there to find out like you know who uh who basically um you know holding the pre holding the president and um, you, you come across all these all these crazy characters in there. Um, you'll see like a lot of actors, like character actors from from back in the day. And um, which I'm gonna you get like Lee Van Cleef. He's in there, and he's he's like a um, he, he's not the cowboy, but you know he's he's the government guy, and um, he's he's the one that's basically like telling Snake like, yo, you better you better do you know. You better do like what we say. What we're gonna do, or you're gonna die. Because they they inject like like I said before, um, snake with this um, with this virus, and so he has to go and you know do all this stuff within 24 hours, <laughs> and uh, he he gets some cool guns and he gets beat up and 
and shot and, and everything. And, and the, the guy that plays the Duke is uh, Isaac Hayes. He's actually the, the chef from, uh, from South Park. I don't think, I mean, from I don't even think he's on South Park anymore, but back when I used to watch South Park back in uh, middle school, that was so long ago. The, he was he was um he was the dude on there and um yeah so um basically um the the president in here is played by um donald pleasance and he was uh he was the doctor in um that was uh which i'm call these uh michael myers doctor therapist in the halloween movie so carpenter sometimes uses uh some of the um similar actors in similar movies like kurt russell is his like you know Johnny Depp is to Tim Burton, you know, and, um, yeah, this movie's just really cool, you know, um, I don't want to spoil it too much, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's awesome, uh, he, he flies over there, like, in this jet plane, and he, he lands on the, on the, uh, World Trade Center building, and it's pretty crazy, um, just the different types of, um, gangs that they have in there, and the post-apocalyptic setting that it's in, and I think they actually filmed the movie, like, in, um, I think they filmed the movie in uh which Macaulay in, in like Michigan. There was like this uh I don't know, like 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 a plane crash like in the middle of like some some town in Michigan. It just like just annihilated the whole like downtown and the 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 town square of this town. So they they kind of lucked out from my understanding in the filming process of filming it and uh they 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 got to film it there. And uh so it it just looked like a straight up um, you know, desolate um well, not desolate, but, you know, post-apocalyptic New York. There's this uh, gladiator match, too, like, towards the end of the movie where, where Snake, he's got to, uh, he's got to, uh, he's got to fight um, this dude, man. It's, it's pretty crazy. He's got this, um, this bat with, like, these spikes in it, and he's fighting this big old, like, buff dude, this, this like, brute, you know? Um, it's, it's pretty sick. Like, you, you definitely got to check it out. And then, at the end of the movie, um, when all's said and done, Snake, uh, he actually, um, pulls a fast one on everybody and, and, you know, you, you, you think you know what's going to happen, but <laughs> you don't, but all in all, man, you, you definitely got to check this movie out. It's, it's awesome. Um, it's a, it's a great movie. Um, John Carpenter, like I said, he wrote it. He did the, um, he also did the music for it. So it, it's kind of got like its own, its own sound, you know, Snake, John Carpenter's basically, like, to me, he's almost got, like, his own genre of movie, like, even just genre in general. Like, his movies, they all have, like, this certain feel to them, you know? And, um, it's really, really cool. Like, the, um, yeah, the music's awesome. And, uh, my my pops, he actually, uh, he had surgery back in the day, and he shared a room with, I believe, his son, with Kurt Russell's son, and, uh... (laughs) It was during the film of the movie. My dad was a big, a big uh, fan, and he he asked him, "Hey, man, you got an extra eye patch I could wear?" <laughs> and, you know, Kurt Russell was like, "No," and because my dad he uh, he had he actually had to wear an eye patch at that time in that movie. It was kind of weird, and uh, yeah, it, it you know it didn't it didn't work out. But all in all, you know, um, take away from this movie, um, it's it's got an original style. You know, it's a it's an epic you know out of the box story. It spawned a sequel too, which I'm gonna definitely do a review of that. The video game, but that never happened. We're waiting for that. It never came. Um, and allegedly, there's going to be a remake. And uh, allegedly, his son Wyatt, Wyatt, uh, Wyatt Russell, he's going to probably play Snake Plissken. And he, uh, he actually, you know, he kind of looks like him. And I know he could, he can handle it. You know, he's, he's, he's not, he's, 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 he's just coming up as an, uh, as an actor. And he's in Escape from, uh, he's in Escape from, uh, from L.A. in one of the scenes. And um, he can, you know, he could do it. He um he he was in this movie Overlord that was really cool that I I um I definitely recommend checking that out. It's like a Nazi super soldier uh you know uh Nazi mysticism type movie. Um and he's he's like the the hero in that movie. Definitely check that out, but yeah. I definitely give um John Carpenter's uh, Escape from New York two horns up. Definitely check that out. I also got this um beer right here. I was at the beer store today. Um, this beer is called Celebrator. I believe it's from Germany. It's a 6.7. It's a Doppelbach. It's be pr- pretty dark. It's kind of festive. It's got this little tchotchke hanging off the top of it. It's only like three dollars. But uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and take a crack at it. I'm trying to draw a little, just a little quick sketch of Snake Plissken, doing some exaggeration on the arms and whatnot. Well, this beer smells pretty good. 
Mmm. Bavarian Doppelbach. Yeah, that is that is awesome beer right there. I definitely give a that celebrator two horns way up. That one's that one's awesome. It's a you know it's a dark malty and rich beer. Uh, yeah, it's got a like Bavarian hops in it. It's one of the world's most respected breweries. So um, definitely let me get that on. Mm. Go over to the beer store and check that out. And also, if you like you know antiheroes, I'm gonna do a little shill right here, shameless. This is my book right here, Butch Cleaver. I'm uh, doing an Indiegogo on it and um, a crowdfunder in, um, this summer. And he's basically a butcher that gets killed in this um, gothic kind of Victorian Western town that's in America, in a fictional America. And he's brought back to life by a voodoo curse. And he gets the power to weaponize bone on a molecular level so he can make, you know, all types of different weapons with that. And there's different, there's different like um, villains in the town that he interacts with and you know he's trying to figure out who killed him and he's he's a psychopath he's come back from from the dead and he's you know he's he's not a good guy but he's trying to find some form of redemption in uh his quest you know and so so that's that's my um that's my book right there um this is the campaign right here if you want to check it out just go over to indiegogo i also have a link in the description that's another little bit of art from it and uh that's him right there with his bull tour he rides a bull instead of a horse and uh yeah that's the logo and um my book right here is a, it's a comic skate book and basically comic skate is a network of fans and creators that make books that have you know they're, they're just for the fans and um you know for the for the customers and they you know they have they don't really have extreme politics or, or religion in them so you know that that's basically what it's all about it's pretty cool and you know um there's also this book right here you guys check out it's called star blades it's an also a um it's a, uh, it's a, it's a comic skate book and it's got awesome artwork. It's by this creator named uh, Kyle Ritter. He's like one of the, one of the big names out of there. It's right here. Thousands of years ago, an asteroid collided with earth and destroyed all of life as we know it. Those that survived forged a new world of swords and sorcery created by the power of star metal. Dance metal as fuck. An ancient evil known as the corruptor seeks to control the power and has waged an never ending ending intergalactic war to possess all the the star metal in the universe. Now the corruption has arrived on Earth and the Dragon Kingdom. The first of to fall, the vast nation and its legendary army don't stand a chance against the superior might of the invaders. A mysterious stranger known as Guardian Rescuers, a wounded dragon knight from the battlefield, Dryden, the lone survivor of this war, may be the world's only hope. So that's a little bit about it. You guys go and check it out. There's all these cool characters. This guy doesn't fuck around. Like if you see his art, you'll know what I'm talking about. These just badass characters, man. They got these cool weapons. Look at that. Man, let's do Superstar. Check it out. Star Blades. I haven't got a chance to back it yet, but I'm, I definitely want to. All these, look at these. Metal as fuck. Look at that. This guy looks so cool. Yeah, definitely check it out. Look at this. How could you not like this shit? But yeah, check it out. Check out uh, Star Blades. Check out Butch Cleaver if you want. Uh, this one's on demand right now, or uh, yeah, in demand, so you, you can get a chance to buy it right now. It's probably only got a few days left. My book's on a on a pre campaign, so you basically sign up for the emails and you can check it out. And um, as always, folks, you know, go check out um, Escape from New York, John Carpenter, or any of the John Carpenter movies. They're all going to be pretty awesome. Um, and if you like metal, you like movies, you like brewskis, you like comics, then stop on by. Ring that bell, smash that like button for metal, movies, and brewskis. You guys have a great night. Thank you.